food and energy. Cellular respiration is the process by which cells obtain energy. One mole of glucose is oxidized to get energy. It occurs in mitochondria. This is the equation. So, one mole of glucose plus six moles of oxygen produces six moles of carbon dioxide and six moles of water and 38 ATP. Any energy is required by the cell needs adenosine triphosphate, which is considered as universal currency of energy in the cell. This process takes place in three major stages. First, glycolysis. It occurs in cytosol, in cytoplasm, and in the absence of oxygen, so it's called anaerobic respiration. One mole of glucose is broken down into two phosphoglyceraldehyde, three carbon and with the use of 2 ATP from the cell, 2 BGL is oxidized into 2 pyruvate and produces 4 ATP, 2 NADH, 2 ATP is returned to the cell. The last product of this process is 2 ATP, 2 pyruvate and 2 NADH. Second, Krebs cycle. Now we are mitochondria. Before we enter Krebs cycle, 2 pyruvate is oxidized in the presence of coenzyme A into acetylco A and produces 2 NADH and 2 carbon dioxide, you can get acetal from the breaking down of fats and proteins. Krebs cycle. Each mole of acetyl CoA Chinese Krebs cycle where CoA splits off. Acetyl 2 carbon combined with oxaloacetic 4 carbon to form citric acid 6 carbon. At the end of the reaction, citric acid is formed again. During one cycle, the compound produced are 2 carbon dioxide, 3 NADH, 1 mole of ATP, 1 mole of FADH2 and it, it's repeated twice and it doesn't need any oxygen. That electron transport chain, it occurs in mitochondria in many stages, fast cytochromes. The sequence of coenzymes is present in inner membrane of mitochondria that carry the electrons at different energy levels. Second, oxidative phosphorylation. ATP is formed from ADP and phosphate group by the use of energy released during the passage of electrons that are carried on the cytochromes from high to low energy level. That two electrons combine with two proton and one oxygen to form water. Fourth, each NADH produces three ATP, while each FADH2 produces two ATP. So let's take a look. We had two NADH from the glycolysis, two NADH from the formation of acetyl CoA, and six NADH from the Krebs cycle. Now we had 10 NADH, which equals 30 ATP. About FADH2, we only had two. FADH2 from the Krebs cycle, which equals 4 ATP. Calculation of ATP. 2 ATP from the glycolysis, 2 ATP from the Krebs cycle, that's 4 ATP from the electron transfer chain, it equals that 8 ATP. Stay healthy.